Well, it was hot really no matter where you were today, and Roseburg tied a high temperature today at 99 degrees. Same temperature in Grants Pass today, and Medford was only three shy of a record 101 today. Klamath Falls hit 86 degrees. Medford at 101 makes it the 12th triple digit day that we have seen in 2013. Now we have seen more triple digit days than we did in 2012 by one day. Today was the deal breaker there. And this is the hottest day that we've seen since July 26. So you're right, it is feeling more like midsummer than the end of summer, almost fall. Well, that heat wave is going to be with us through Saturday. Temperatures in the Pacific Northwest, in fact, were hotter than Vegas and Phoenix. Portland hit 90 degrees today, 88 in Reno. Talk about a hot day across our entire area, unless you were at the coast. The coast saw quite a change today as that Chetco effect ended around midday. Temperatures this afternoon feeling more normal. High pressure is the main reason for this. It's still a blocking pattern. You can see those clouds going north of that system. But I want to show you another record breaker, record breaker we could be dealing with by five o'clock tomorrow morning. We're watching Tropical Storm Humberto, which the National Hurricane Center is saying is almost a hurricane. If this disturbance is able to wait until five o'clock tomorrow morning, it will be the latest first hurricane ever on record. We have not seen a hurricane so far this year in the Atlantic, so pretty interesting. It's going to be an exciting 5 a.m. hour for those of you who are Hurricane snobs. High pressure is going to be the main pattern through our next several days. Sunny and hot conditions, that's what we'll be seeing for inland areas. But a significant cool down is just days away. Once we get to Sunday and Monday, temperatures are going to be significantly cooler. Before we get there, though, we do have a chance for isolated thunderstorms Thursday and Friday along and east of the Cascades. Lightning, hot and dry, not good for fire season. Keep in mind there are still regulations in place. At the coast for tomorrow, temperatures will not be quite as hot as we were just a couple of days ago. We will see areas of fog in the morning and overnight hours. In the mountains, a few cumulus clouds pop up tomorrow, but it will still be dry tomorrow. Not expecting thunderstorms tomorrow, though we'll be holding off until Thursday. A lot of sunshine in the basin, temperatures right around where we were today. Siskiyou County, a couple of degrees cooler here as well as in the Rogue Valley, but it's still going to be hot. You're really not going to be feeling that difference. It is just going to be hot and uncomfortable all week long. At the coast, we'll see isolated showers on Sunday. In the basin, there's that slight chance for afternoon thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. Sunday, we could also be seeing showers and thunderstorms next week, starting off in the mid-70s for high temperatures. Siskiyou County, slight chance for mountain thunderstorms on Friday, but that's about it. And then we'll talk about showers, the potential for a few showers on Sunday. And a few isolated sh showers possible on Sunday for West Side Valleys as well. But the thing that's catching my eye on that forecast is 79 degrees for a high temperature on Tuesday. What a difference. Last Thursday, we saw a high of 77 degrees, and we're basically going right back there after this extreme heat wave we've been dealing with this week. And the coast drops 40 degrees in one day, too. In one day. It's the pretty Checo unusual. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks.